are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 3rd of August. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather trending dry for much of this week. Heat levels coming up in about five days or so. And still watching, of course, the tropics with ECES lurking just off the southeast United States coast. Here we go. An anomalously strong trough for summertime over the eastern states. That's pulling ECES up the east coast keeping it away from us. And in advance of the trough, early this morning, had a couple of showers on the eastern side of the state. And uh, once the trough axis passes, uh, that's going to pull in some pretty dry air. So showers will likely be hard to find for the rest of the week. And the good news is the uh, air dries out. The nights will be cooler. Look at the lows down in the middle 60s this morning. Haleyville, Cullman, Aniana, 65 and 64. We'll see lows in the 60s for really the rest of this week. There's the watch warning map. Of course, the action focused on the eastern seaboard with ECES coming up. Tropical storm and hurricane warnings in effect there. Flash flood watches in effect as well. Also got a risk of a few severe storms uh, later today and tonight on the coast of the Carolinas with the tropical system. Tomorrow, marginal risk up the eastern seaboard with ECES and also a risk over the western high plains. And Wednesday, day three, a marginal risk east of Denver. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Obviously, the big numbers with the tropical system over the eastern part of the United States. But around here, just not much at all. Again, a few isolated showers around this morning. And then there might be a shower somewhere, I guess, in a day or two. But basically dry for the next seven days. Tropics. Got two systems on the board. Uh, first off, let's talk about the tropical wave that is north of the Leeward Islands. Hurricane Center giving that a 40% chance of developing within 48 hours. Uh, that thing is going to gain latitude and then stall out as the steering currents collapse. And just going to sit there most likely. And a decent chance it becomes a tropical storm. The name will be Josephine. That's the J storm this year. But for the moment, it looks like it probably will not affect the United States. Here's a look at Isaias this morning. This thing's just struggled in its life with uh, interaction with land and dry air and shear. Uh, top winds are 70 miles an hour. This now expected to be a minimal hurricane, but quite frankly, the impact is the same between a 70 mile per hour tropical storm and a 80 mile per hour hurricane. Basically, this will be coming up into the Carolinas tonight and then running right up Interstate 95 over the eastern states with heavy rain. That's going to be the main threat with this thing. Uh, in fact, uh, this is suggesting some spots around Chesapeake Bay could receive six to 10 inches of rain. But at least it's moving. It's not stalled. And that should limit, hopefully, the uh, major flash flood potential through there. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06E run, 4 o'clock today. There's that unusually strong trough for summertime over the east. And again, a few showers, mainly this morning, uh, very widely spaced. And once they're gone, we should see a partly sunny sky today with a high at or just over 90. This is tomorrow. Should be a mostly sunny day. The chance of a shower, not zero, but awfully small. See the high close to 90. Wednesday, mostly sunny. See the high 88 to 91. Thursday, we're dry. Friday, we're dry. Highs around 90. Weather for the weekend, rain-free. There's Saturday and there's Sunday. And again, typically every day in the summer, we have scattered storms around. So again, that's a sign of an unusually dry air mass. And here's a week from today, Monday the 10th, troughing coming through uh, the high plains. And for us, ridging beginning to build. And I guess there might be a shower somewhere as moisture ticks up a little bit. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 12th. Got old ridging down here across the deep south. Moisture levels are back up. So we'll see scattered storms with highs in the low to mid 90s. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. Not a lot for the next 15 days. One to one and a half inches. That's the mean. Yeah, and heat levels creeping up. Uh, we'll probably see mid-90s in here by the time we get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And the CPC outlook, August 10th through August 16th, showing temperatures could be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. 
Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.